Hello, darling. You're right. Yeah, I'm good. How are you, Lisa? I'm Matthew. Lovely nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Enjoy. Hello, Lisa. How are you? I'm all right, darling. You're right. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. So what? No relationship like, prior to this. My last relationship, he didn't have that respect for women, which for me is really important. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about feminism? What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. Now fellas, we got some business we have to take care of, all right? What you guys just saw is the one question no man ever, ever wants to hear on a first date. Now listen, I might be an old boomer, I haven't been out on a first date in a very long time, but I can just tell you guys if this question was proposed to me, you know, hey doc, uh, what do you think about feminism? At that point, the relationship is fucking dead all right let's take it out behind the barn let's put it down this ain't gonna last much longer uh so i might as well go ahead and give an honest answer and my answer would be well if you can find one that's under 300 pounds it's kind of like finding a rare pokemon it's just something you don't see very often but odds are if you do find one you know you're probably gonna need like an f-350 to tow her around and honestly to be quite frank with you they fucking suck man they're ruining the goddamn country at first it started out as, oh, we want to be equal, we want to, like, work, you know, and do shit in society, and that's fine. Uh, but now they want to put men in, like, fucking cages and whip them and shit. Yeah, I don't know if I can really get behind that movement. Anyways, I'm curious to see how this guy's going to respond to the question. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and let's get into it. Oh, just hearing that word, what does that kind of make you think of? You know what, yeah, I just, I'm not a misogynist at all, but I just feel like a lot of feminists don't even know what they're fighting for. I feel like it's just a, a bandwagon thing. What would you... Alright, so I think it's pretty safe to say this guy, he thinks feminism is fucking stupid. And to that, sir, I applaud you. But, like, you can clearly tell he was trying to tiptoe around the question. He didn't exactly want to state what he really thinks about it. And clearly, the woman did not appreciate it. She's got that resting bitch face down to a T, alright, man? You can tell she's put a lot of effort into making that face look like a bitch. Do you think that women have roles? Like, I, I think a man is a man, a woman's a woman. I feel like we're two different creatures. In society, they're given roles. Like, they're socialised into thinking that they need to be housewives. I'm very much a, of the idea or thought of, you know, women should be a housewife. That's a very old school oh, tradition. Of course it is way of thinking. What about the women that have raised children by themselves? Right. They should get praised as much as, yeah, OK, it's old school. But yeah. they're, they're just as good as the woman that works seven days a week and earning. But my point is, is that all women should be recognised. It's not just about that's, certain definitely, women. Definitely, and that's my yeah. point. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to assume that once the cameras went off, they just went their own ways, dude. Ain't no shot in hell they got back together. I'm still not exactly sure what this guy's approach was to the question. You know, it almost seemed like halfway through he changed his mind. For instance, he starts off by saying women have roles, you know, they're mothers, they're nurturers by nature. And then he says something about women who work all the time are just as important as stay-at-home mothers. And uh, I'd say that wasn't exactly the response that woman was looking to get out of him. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I really think she wanted him to, like, fucking bow down to her and start kissing her toes and sucking I don't know, dude. Now, normally I would say, you know, leave this kind of talk to, like, a third day. You know, not necessarily the first time you see someone, you ask them a controversial question. But I really think this guy just dodged a fucking bullet. Now, he might not realize it in the moment, but I'm sure when he goes home and lays in bed at night, he realizes, oh, God, oh, my God, what just fucking happened? Either way, man, don't ever settle for a girl like this because, really, she's just looking for a guy that is, like, a 10 out of 10 and has a lot of money. Meanwhile, what do you get in return? Nothing but a fucking headache. 
Anyways, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. What I also really appreciate is my goddamn channel members because they're the fucking greatest, all right? We have Factionator, Genitals, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. I made a list of things that men should not be allowed to do, and here's my list of things that should be reserved for women and children only. Number one, candy. Because as a grown man, why are you eating candy? Are you a baby? Go eat spinach or beets or something. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know I sure was until Susan hit me with a demonetization earlier. So yeah, thanks, Susan. I see that we're no longer butt buddies. Anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at a woman on TikTok who probably has nothing important to say, but whatever, dude. Like, let's just look at this. Can you imagine a grown man roller skating? Do you think you're a princess or something? Number five, sweaters. If you're a grown man and you're wearing sweaters, I'm also going to assume you're being breastfed because clearly you're a baby. You can't handle a little cold. Are you chilly? All right, so it appears to me that this woman thinks she's funny because, well, she's laughing at all of her own jokes. But don't worry, I can assure you no one else is. Usually when this happens, I just refer back to that quote by Theodore Roosevelt, which said, uh, women are not funny. Now, I'm sure some of you are wanting me to make a comment about her thoughts here about grown dudes on roller skates and shit. Listen, guys, okay, let's get through the video first, and then uh, I have a little surprise for you. Number six, swimming. The only exception to this is if he is a professional athlete swimmer, like Michael Phelps or some shit. But imagine you're at the pool, and there's a grown man in a floaty with his toes out. Tell me that wouldn't make you mad. All right, so I apologize, fellas. I understand that was a pretty painful video to watch. At least it was for me. So if we take a look at this woman's list here, I think it's pretty easy to tell that. Pretty fucking stupid. I mean, honestly, dude, I just don't understand this woman's thought process. Like, how are you going to come out here and say that swimming is such a feminine thing when it's one of the hardest exercises you can do? Like, realistically, I would say that most people can't even swim two miles without taking a break. Like, either way, dude, you know, whether you're trying to swim for a fucking gold medal or you're just trying to drink some cold beer in a pool on a hot summer day, I just don't really see the issue here. I mean, really, we could sit here all day and talk about this shitty fucking list, but I'd rather just not waste my time with it. Instead, I made a list of five things women shouldn't do that I'd like to share with you guys. First up on the list here, we have stop sucking my dong, all right? You know how girls will say I'm fine, but I'm not fine, and the guy should know that I'm not fine? I was gonna say something here, and then I remembered I just got demonetized, so you know what? Let's just move on to number two. I'm sure you can use your imagination on where I was headed with that. Number two is all that fucking stupid ass fake positivity, all right? We get it. You guys want to act cute and innocent in front of everyone on Twitch when it comes to showing your tits and shit. But then again, dude, like, just remember, most girls are only friends with each other for a month because then they all fuck each other over and then they're pissed and, uh, yeah. Remember, positive vibes only, though. Number three is ask for money. Okay, we're all equal nowadays. If you don't have money, go get a fucking job. I mean, Kim Kardashian honestly said it best. If you're a woman that's broke, you just literally need to work harder. And then I think the last two on my list here are honestly pretty self-explanatory. So anyways, what did we learn from today's video? Well, if you see this woman, I suggest getting the hell away from her. You might catch this stupid. Like, I just want to put something into perspective for you guys. This woman made a list of things men shouldn't do, and she put swimming on that list, but not anything about, like, dudes wearing makeup and shit. Like, honestly, how are you going to sit here and tell me if a man wants to chow down on a Snickers bar, that's unacceptable. But if a dude wants to wear some makeup and a fucking dress, oh, that's so powerful. He's so empowering. Like, get the fuck out of here. Who said you could stop sucking my dong? The only reason I can think of as to why this woman would make this stupid TikTok is because she dated a guy who did all six of these things and he went out and fucked some girl that's like 10 times hotter than she'll ever be and here she is big mad on TikTok. 
oh well, I mean, without stupid shit like this on the internet, my channel would probably be dead. And uh, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have Factionator, Genitals, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the fucking hell, the goddamn out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of musical improv. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, as usual. So, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys something that's pretty uncomfortable, alright? I'm not gonna lie. If there's small children around, get them the f out of the room. I think we've all seen those Discord mod videos, right? Like, I put out a couple myself, you know, Daddy's Little Kitten. I don't know, dude. It's, it's weird, all right? I don't condone it. I don't support it. I don't do it. Now, I'd like to point out, you don't see these type of people very often, and it's probably a good thing because, I mean, let's be real here. They are a huge threat to schools and public places, and yeah, I don't know, man. It's just not very good. It is not a good person to have around. With that being said, typically you only see like one of these fedora wearing ninnies out in public, but sometimes you might see two. I have never once in my life seen five of them sitting on a casting couch, dude. Like just take a look at these weird ass motherfuckers, dude. I swear to God, this picture, it smells bad enough. I couldn't even imagine what it smells like in that room right now. So these lovely individuals are going to be singing us a song, and, um, you know, let's just start on the left side of the couch here. I don't know if this is a man or a woman. I think it's a tranny, but then again, dude, like, you just don't know until you get your hand in that pants. The second one over is a woman, but you guys will see when the video starts playing. She's definitely not normal. The guy in the middle, fedora-wearing expert himself. Yeah, man, I really don't think I need to say a whole lot about him. I mean, the fedora practically explains everything for me. And then the two individuals on the right side of the picture, I'd say that they're probably the most normal-looking, but they're just fucking awkward, dude. Like, this man is... Yeah, never mind. All right, if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the content, and let's just get the fuck in this. Hey guys, can we have a do-over? Quiet, yeah, let's totally have a do-over, <laughs> Oh my god, let's totally have okay? a do-over. Okay, like, okay. Gargoyles. Mine's nothing. My time is very precious. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> went away. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> went away. <laughs> but I was shimmy. I can shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Sammy can shimmy. All right, so I just want to put something into perspective for you guys. All of these people right here that you just watched on your screen, they all have jobs. They go to school. They do something with their life. They come home after a hard day's work, and this is what they fucking do in their spare time. I mean, if they're not having an orgy on the couch or checking out some new fedoras, I'd say they're probably in the garage playing around with the AKs, you know, just, just pretend it's all just for shits and giggles. But honestly, dude, I don't think I've ever been more terrified in my life, all right? When it comes time for Halloween, everyone's out here going to these haunted houses and shit. Dude, that's nothing. That is nothing compared to walking into this living room with this going on right now. Jesus Christ, get me the hell out of here right now, man. This has got to be like a dojo or something. Now, thankfully, I'm in the comfort of my own home while watching this video, but if I was in that room right now and I just heard Sammy fucking scream at me like that, I think I would have legitimately had a heart attack or I would have wished I had a heart attack. You know, like one of the two, I want to die. I do not want to come out of that room. Now, I will say the only good thing to come out of this video is that these people, they laugh at everything I say, bro. Watch this, all right? Gamer girls suck at video games. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty Vanguard is a good game. <laughs> Anyways, I think you guys get the point. They just love everything I say. They just eat it up, man. They love it. All right, so listen, the moral of the story is that I know a lot of you who watch this channel, you might be younger individuals, you know, in high school, going to college, something like that. Let me give you some advice, all right? As someone who's been through high school and college and all that shit, if you ever, 
ever encounter a situation like this, your best option is to run. And even then, bro, it's pretty difficult to outrun a bullet. So, uh, you know, good luck with that. At some point in life, man, you're going to run into some difficult situations. And this is one of them right here. This is not a situation I would play around with. Like one minute, you could all be singing on the couch, having a great time. And then you're just going to black out and wake up to some dude in your ass. And um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want any dudes in my ass. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have Factionator, Genitals, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. Uh, more importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. In today's video, after every single kill I get in Fortnite, me and my girlfriend spin the wheel of dares. Needless to say, guys, this video is hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, dude, I bet. I bet this video is just packed with humor. You know, the part where your girlfriend takes her clothes off. Oh my god, that's gonna be so funny. Anyways, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So anyways, today we're gonna be taking a look at your typical Fortnite YouTuber who's, you know, probably gonna exploit his girlfriend for views at some point in their YouTube career. I mean, honestly, I feel like most Fortnite YouTubers, they eventually pick one direction in their career, and it's to either DM little kids on Instagram or do this. You know, I'm not dying. I got the Black Knight OG special on. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. I don't even know why you tried. Oh, babe, I got a kill, though. I got a kill, so you already know what that means. The Wheel of Dares must now come out. Here we go. All right, babe, here we go. Spin number one. What dare are we going to get? What dare are we going to get? Oh! Oh my god, I have to twerk? Are you kidding me? Alright, editor, you gotta sauce me with some good music. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to twerk as best as I can. Alright, hey, yeah. right, I'm dead, bro. This is just weird. So, uh, yeah, I think that just killed everyone's boner. You know, they're all just wanting to see your girl. I don't know why you decided to do this in the first place. Ain't no one give a fuck about what you doing on the wheel. Honestly, there's only two types of people that would ever even click on a video like this. The first type of people is you and me. We're just trying to make fun of someone. And then the second type of people is kids under the age of 15 that are just typing with their left hand. Anyways, I know this video is annoying as fuck. Like, it's honestly kind of pissing me off. But whatever, dude. Like, I'm just gonna say it gets better. It probably doesn't. But you know what? I'll just leave my hopes up. Hit it for white. Oh. Yes, what? let's go. You saw that, babe? Wow. Crazy. My boy Ninja taught me that. I don't know if you know who that is or anything, but uh, now it's your turn to do the Wheel of Dares. So let me just go ahead and pull up the wheel and see what you get. All right, babe, you do the honors. You spin it right here. Okay. This is for your dare. Please give me twerk or kiss or something, bro. Please, please. I'm begging you. Oh, God. Yes! Oh, no! oh, wait. Yo, you trying to do some, like, tongue action or what? No? No, I Just a kiss? Camera. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I mean, that, that, that was a pretty good dare. Pretty solid. All right, I got to pause the video for a second. Am I the only one that thinks these two are really brother and sister? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like there's some sweet home Alabama going on here. I can't really tell, but I guess we'll find out. All right, All right here we go. This is my dare. If, I swear to God, if he gives me twerk again, I'm going to be sad. What? Oh, but wait, I get to touch your butt. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I think this is like every like, guy's dream right now is to touch my girlfriend's butt. Like, you guys are just weird. All right, here we go. Ready? Wait. Oh. Nice! Oh Let's go! God. Let's go! What was that? What do you mean, what was that? I mean, that touched your butt. I mean, that has to count for something. Oh my god, he touched the butt! He touched the butt! You know, the more I watch this video, the more I realize this is sad. This is fucking pathetic. I can't even imagine what George Washington is doing in his grave right now. Oh my god, he touched the butt! He touched the butt! I'm just kidding. I doubt he's really doing that. If I had to take a guess, I'd say he's probably turning over and trying to kill himself for a second time because he can't believe what the fuck is going on in this country. Like, they probably thought we would all be some fucking jacked firemen out here doing bad shit, but instead, here we are. Yep. What? What? Okay, yeah, this kid's hacking. 
dead. Let's go. Oh my wow. God. We'll be seeing you, baby. Can show us yet? And some people really try to tell me that chivalry is fucking dead. <laughs> Yeah, right. He's right here, he's right here. Track him. He's a default, he's a default. Come here, Tifu. No, but I died. We still have two dares to do. We still have two dares to do. All right, baby, it's your turn. It's your dare. Go ahead and click the button. If I get Click the button of doom. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ice cube in pan. I have to put an ice cube in your pants. Go get it. All right, babe, I got the ice cube right here. Here's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is an ice cube right there. I'm just going to go ahead and, all right, babe, open your pants so I can put that down there. Oh! Oh! Wait, hang on a second, bro. I never saw that ice cube drop. You can uh, put that down there. Oh! Oh! Now, I understand it's going to be difficult to see an ice cube falling, especially when it's got her white t-shirt in the background. I put this into my video editor, and I slowed it down frame by frame. Bro, I don't see no fucking ice cube, all right? Are you really trying to tell me that this reaction was fake? No, there, there's no way, dude. There's no way. I'm pretty sure that was a totally real, totally not exaggerated and 100% authentic reaction. Because, you know, that's what I would do if I put ice in my girlfriend's pants. The first thing I'd do is get them dick-sucking lips out and start and start over-exaggerating every little tiny fucking thing, you know? Like, why are you screaming, bro? You didn't even get the ice in your pants. It doesn't even make fucking sense. Do it. Three, two, one... Oh my god! Oh my god! Ow! Oh my god! Babe, that hurt so bad. I'm not even, I'm not even oh. kidding. That hurt so bad. Show him. Show him. Show him the hair. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're not gonna watch any more of that dog shit around here, okay? We already lose enough brain cells daily. We don't need to lose any more. Uh, but come on, Doc. We need to see the girl twerk. We at least want to see the girl twerk. Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. No one even loves you. So what did we learn from today's video? Well, if you enjoy fucking your sister on camera, you might as well put some Fortnite gameplay in the background. It's gonna get you a lot of views. Like, I'll be the first to say, Fortnite is a decent game, you know, every now and then I use it for background gameplay, but, uh, I really just don't want to be associated with these types of people. It's whatever though, dude, alright? I'm just gonna go watch some hot moms play Fortnite, and, uh, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do fucking appreciate it. You know what else I really fucking appreciate? You know, sometimes I lay in bed at night, and I'm like, what do I fucking appreciate? And I always fall back on my channel members, because they are the greatest of all goddamn time we have genitals factionator zingies and joseph i really do appreciate all of your support if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video for the hot milfs out there especially the ones with big tits man god that's my weakness and uh yeah i'll catch you guys next time later Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know that I sure was until I found out about Demi Lovato out here saying transphobia. Oh my god, it's such a thing. I don't know, man. She said something about, like, gender reveal parties are the devil and stay away from them. They're so transphobic. And I was like, that would be a great video idea. So anyways, here we are. You guys can see it says Demi Lovato out here speaking against transphobic gender reveal parties. Yeah, that's real cool. No one really cares. What I found interesting, though, is that they use this picture of Demi where she looks like young and hot and inspiring. Um, but that's not the Demi who said this statement. I believe the person you're looking for is this. And that right there, fellas, is exactly what feminism will do to a woman. This is just sad, bro. Like, if that were my daughter, I would probably commit the not living thing, you know? And when it comes to Demi Lovato, dude, there's only two types of people. Some people, they love her. They can't get enough of her. They think she's inspiring. She's out here making change in the world and is being a true inspiration. And then you have people with a normal functioning brain that realize she's a fucking crackhead and has no idea what the hell she's doing anymore. I mean, like, really, she did a shit ton of fucking drugs, damn near overdosed, had three fucking strokes, and here she is, oh, feminism is the greatest thing ever. If that doesn't tell you feminism is a mental illness, I literally don't know what else to tell you.
you have the mental illness yourself at that point. Anyways, uh, so I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with a gender reveal party. Basically, people just get together in their backyard and they hit like a baseball and ooh, blue smoke, it's a boy, yay. Now there's like a million different things you can do to actually reveal the gender, but typically there's like blue or pink somehow involved in the party. And for some reason, that just really pissed Demi off now. I'll be the first to tell you guys, if I had Demi Lovato money, you wouldn't know a damn thing I'm upset about, all right? Like if I were feeling a little sad, oh my god, I only see pink and blue clouds at these stupid ass parties. Guess what? I'll go on a cruise in the Bahamas, man. It ain't no big deal. Anyways, I guess Demi went out here on Instagram and made some giant message about how these things are harmful and gender reveal parties should never have been a thing. And to that I say, just shut up. God, just shut the fuck up. I really just don't get it, bro. Most of these gender reveal parties, yeah, they only have pink or blue, but they're not fucking hurting anyone at the end of the day. Like, if she gets to be mad about some pink smoke at a birthday party, then I get to be mad at her stupid pink hair. Did you hear that, Demi? Your pink hair is fucking ruining this country. Like, honestly, do you hear how fucking stupid that sounds when you say that dumb shit out loud? Honestly, though, I think the best part of all of this situation is when she said, the idea that sex is based on genitalia is inconsistent with science. I don't know, man. It seems pretty consistent to me. You know, it's only been in place for thousands of fucking years or something. Anyways, the moral of the story is don't take advice from someone who got all hopped up on drugs, did a bunch of damage to their brain, and now claims to be some fucking super scientist that knows way more than we ever will. Listen, Demi, the only thing you know how to do is make some below average songs and cull your hair some shitty color. Like, I'm sorry, but no one cares what you have to say anymore, so you should probably just go back to the insane asylum and shut your mouth. Announcing that you're bringing some new children into the world is supposed to be one of the most exciting times of your life, and well, these people, they don't want you to shit on their parade, alright? Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all time. We have Jenna Tolls, Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video for the hot moms, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Much for all your support and watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something different. We are going to be doing a shower and get ready for bed with me. Sub dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So we're going to be taking a shower with Amaranth and I am beyond excited for this video, okay? I've been waiting my entire life just to see what kind of shampoo Amaranth is using nowadays. And I just rub that all over. I like to focus especially on my armpits. That way the creepy people don't want to uh, lick the sweat off of them. You know, I just like to rub that right in there. So that way the creepy people don't want to uh, lick the sweat off of them. Wait, what? Did I hear that right? I honestly can't believe this. Amaranth just insulted like 80% of her viewership by saying that statement. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, dude, that's, that's so weird, man. Who would ever want to lick her armpit? <laughs> uh. the most. You know, you have your, you have your chest sweat, your armpit sweat, your neck sweat. And once I've gotten everything really, really scrubbed, I like to go down to my legs. Legs are very important to get the back of the, the hamstrings especially. That's where my skin is the most sensitive. I grew up with eczema and that really sucked. I suffered from that a lot. And so the backs of my legs are just really sensitive. I would honestly love to know how many dudes started holding their phone in their left hand when this scene popped up, if you get what I'm saying here. I also think it's hilarious how like five years ago, these e-girls would show a little bit of cleavage while gaming and they would deny it like to the fullest extent. Nowadays, man, they don't hide anything. Like anything, man. You want to see a booty hole? Just go pay $5.99 on the OnlyFans. Or in this case, the amount of dudes that are into sucking toes. You know, you fucking weirdos. They, uh, they got a free one here. And wash my feet as well. And then I have to 
shower off the upper body. Make sure all that soap gets off. Make it look nice and clean. I also did a shower video right after this for OF, so I wanted to keep my makeup on. Have that sultry cat eye look. All right, dude, I can't even lie anymore. This got to be one of the most boring fucking videos I've ever seen in my life. Amaranth really came out here and made a 10 minute long video of herself just rubbing soap on her body to some stupid ass jazz music. I would really like to know the watch time on this video because there's no way girls are like clicking on this video to see what kind of hair product she's using. And I think we all know the dudes that be clicking on a video like this, they're probably in and out in less than 10 seconds. I mean, it'd be one thing if there was something going on in this video, but like, it's not even fucking hot, man. What are you jerking off to? Some shoulders? After my shower, I like to get in my pajamas. These are my favorite pajamas. They have little pandas on them and they're so comfortable. Let me show you. See, they're so cute. Oh yeah, do you see the cute little panda? You like it when it's in my booty hole? Man, how exciting was that video, dude? We got to watch Amaranth like scrub her shoulders for eight minutes and then scrub her kneecaps for another 30 seconds. Anyways, I think we all know by now why this video was uploaded to YouTube. I mean, if you couldn't tell, she only flashed her OnlyFans link like 15,000 times throughout it. And I already know there's gonna be someone down there in the comments section. No, yeah, do, do you understand why she uploaded this video? She was just trying to throw her skincare routine. Oh, really? Because most of the people that watch her videos don't even shave their fucking nutsack. You expect them to do all this exfoliating with a floofa or whatever it's called in the damn shower? I don't think so. Comments below if you would like another one of these sometime and what other concepts you'd like to see. Now this ought to be good. We have Daniel saying, I love to see you. You are very enjoyable to watch and you are such a cute woman. Love your nightly routine. It sucks you have to censor all that cuteness. See you soon. Daniel, it's a real shame your parents didn't whoop your fucking ass when you were a kid. You should not be simping on the internet for some girl who would never care about you in a million years. I promise you she doesn't care that you called her titties cute, okay? Next, I found Ray William Johnson's burner, Sosmit, whatever, all right? He says, really enjoyed bathing with you, gorgeous. And I'm just going to say, Sosmit, it's a shame. It's a shame you have all that extra room in your pants, all right? I'm actually pretty jealous. And just when I thought all these underarm losers would be gone by now, we have Raccoon saying, what is your underarm routine? I wish mine looked like that. Can you do a shaving video, please? Thanks. Like, dude, come on. There's no way. There is no way you are actually into licking armpits. Anyways, I think I've seen enough, bro. I can't deny Amaranth definitely knows her audience. She knows what kind of content to put out there that will get views. I got to give that to her. Anyways, fellas, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have... Poopy Butthole, Jenna Tolls, God, you guys with these names, man. Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. I appreciate the hell out of your guys' support. You guys know that by now. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. There's a link in the description below. But uh, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Support and watching. What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So fellas, I wanna apologize in advance. By the time you see this video, this news is probably gonna be a little bit old. But this is just too crazy to not talk about, all right? And I don't wanna waste any damn time today, so subscribe if you like this video. And if you don't like this video, then you can quite literally go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding, Susan, we're all good. <laughs> Right? Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So I guess not that long ago, there was a streamer that goes by the name of Narcissa. I don't know, man. Never heard of them. I don't know what kind of content they make. But I do know they put out a tweet essentially saying, you know, I want to go pew 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 in the uh, Twitch headquarters. Now, obviously, this person got banned off of the platform. I mean, 
there's really no explanation. There's nothing you can say to be like, oh, you know, I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is pretty black and white, okay? They caught the band hammer. And you know, that makes total sense. Like, I wouldn't want to do business with someone that essentially threatened to end my life. You know, I don't really want to work with them at that point. Anyways, I thought that was the end of that. You know, nothing really to talk about. Well, until Twitch did a little 180. And, uh, I mean, we all expected Twitch to have their heads up their fucking assholes, but I didn't expect them to be, uh, this bad. So earlier this morning, Narcissa put out another tweet saying, Remorse and mercy. I feel grateful. Thank you. Well, if you take a look at the email this person included from Twitch itself, they basically say that in their appeal, they felt remorseful. Now, let me just be completely honest with you guys. I don't know what the f*** goes on over at Twitch. Clearly not good things, okay? It's ran by a goddamn reindeer. I can't believe I'm even about to say this, but Twitch cares more about people being allowed to suck dick than they do having an active shooter in the place where these people work, man. I just, I don't understand this. And the reason this pisses me off so much is because people get banned on Twitch for the dumbest shit ever. And this sets a horrible precedent for the future of the platform. Okay, Twitch is dog shit. Let's just establish that right now in this video. Twitch is horrible. It's a damn shame that they make a decent product because they are scum of the fucking earth people, all right? Anyways, I want to show you guys this. Some dude in Brazil got banned for having a Pink Floyd poster on his wall. Here's another one. Some of you guys might be familiar with Deller. He's a dude on Twitch. He like rages a lot and he breaks shit in his room. It's really funny. I guess he broke a keyboard over his head and got banned. Listen, I know the people over at Twitch are fucking idiots and it's like arguing with a toddler. You're just, you're never going to win. But are you really going to sit here and tell me that smashing a keyboard over your own head is a worse crime than threatening to just go ape shit in Twitch's headquarters? And here's my personal favorite example. So many of you are familiar with Dr. Disrespect. Well, I guess one day he had to take a shit, as they say. He went into the bathroom and someone video recorded him and it showed his head above the stall. He got banned for that. Because you can't film in a bathroom. And that does make some sense. You don't want people just walking in bathrooms and video recording you. But Dr. Disrespect, he didn't even take the video. He was just there dumping his scat in a fucking bowl, man. Like, <laughs> how do you do this? How do you allow someone who is mentally unstable, mentally fucking insane back on your platform after what they did. All right, so I just went and did a little bit of research on Narcissa herself, and I can say with my full expertise here, this is an actual threat. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have sat here and stared at my computer monitor for about 10 minutes, just trying to make it make sense, you know? How in the world did Twitch come to these terms? I mean, I understand that Twitch is not the most consistent platform. You know, they kind of just pick and choose who they want to ban and who they're just going to let fucking run all over them. I mean, for crying out loud, dude, misbehaving spread her cheeks and showed the inside of her anus. Meanwhile, Dr. Disrespect stood up inside a bathroom stall and showed no nudity whatsoever. And meanwhile, he has been wiped from the platform completely. Honestly, I think the only way I can make this make sense is if I let Wings of Redemption sit on my head and pop it like a fucking watermelon, and then he can kick my useless body, and then I'll probably be like, oh yeah, that was a good idea. I don't know, man. This shit nowadays, it's just, it's getting out of hand. It is getting crazy out there, fellas. Obviously, this is just a topic. I, I couldn't pass this up, man. I, I had to say something, you know? Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all god damn time we have poopy butthole genitals factionator zingies and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support it really does mean everything to me if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today uh but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So what you guys just witnessed is a father's worst nightmare. 
I really can't imagine the amount of damage it would do to someone if they opened up their camera app on their phone and just see their daughter sneaking in seven dudes at 2 a.m. And it doesn't exactly take a rocket scientist to understand what's going on here. Like, do you really think they went up there and just had some giant Bible study or something? You know, if that's the case, I'm sure she got a little more than the word of God. Anyways, the reason I'm making this video is because this woman that you guys just saw in that TikTok, she really thinks that we're the crazy ones for insinuating something sexual went on that night. I have a sister who's a year and a half younger than me, so throughout high school we had a lot of the same friends and she hung out with a lot of my friends and we had been out that night hanging out with some of our guy friends, friends. Listen, you can try and deny all this you want. I don't know who you're trying to impress by doing this, but let's just say it's not really going to work. We also used to sneak guys in all the time and my parents like caught us. And so that's why we got cameras. They like had just got done with homecoming or whatever. And they were like, let's hang out still, blah, blah, blah. And we were like, um, fine, we'll just sneak them in. Because we didn't think the cameras were on. They were. They're always on. Like you literally just admitted to being a little, uh, you know, I can't really say it, the garden tool. Like you just admitted the reason you got cameras inside your house is because you snuck so many dudes in when your dad clearly didn't want them to be there. They all came over. We literally, no one did anything with the guys. Like, seriously, they're the type of guys that are, like, brothers to you. So no one did anything with the guys. Oh, all seven of those dudes are, like, brothers to you? I think we all kind of understand what's going on now. Alright man, all jokes aside, I don't understand what this woman is trying to accomplish. Like, you clearly made the first video so all of us would think you were getting railed by seven dudes, and now here you are trying to claim you're all cute and innocent and you didn't do anything. I mean, I could put in a lot of time and effort to find the biggest fucking idiot on the face of this planet, and even they're not going to believe that you had all these dudes over so late at night and you just listened to music. Yeah, you listened to music when you had it in your booty hole, I know, I know. They literally came over, we all just fucking hung out, listened to music, made TikToks, like, and they ended up leaving at, like, 2 or 3 in the morning, and then my parents get up for work at about 4 in the morning, and they got up from work, and they were like, what the fuck did you guys do? And we were like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's no way this is real, dude. There's no way. Her parents really woke up at 4 a.m. for work and said, what the fuck went on last night? And her response is, what do you mean? I just know, man. I know her father looked her in the eyes and said, you know exactly what the fuck I mean. And then they showed us that video. And me and my sister were grounded for like two weeks. No phone, no contact, no nothing. So... Thank you to everyone saying I'm a slut. I'm not. I'm allowed to have friends. And there were other girls there. So. Think what you want, though. Still badder than you. Still badder. Yeah, that was real classy. I'm sure her parents are real proud of that explanation. Now, listen, man. I'm an old boomer. I don't really exactly keep up with these youngins nowadays. But, uh. I think they call these a diamond Minecraft hoe or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, this whole video, it was bullshit. It was a spit in my fucking face. It's an insult to my intelligence. I mean, I think it goes without saying, anyone who has an IQ above a retarded frog can easily tell that this lie is nothing but a bunch of baloney. You know what, man? I'll go ahead. I'll tell you guys what actually took place here. This woman, she pulled up to the car dealership. She's looking to buy a new car, but she doesn't know which one yet. She's going to take them all for a test drive and figure out which one she's taking home. And I mean, that's fine, you know, I'm not really here to judge anyone. What you do in your free time is really none of my business, but I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure the basketball coach was wondering why half the team skipped practice. You know, man, videos like this really make me appreciate the fact that I don't have to do any of this dating scene anymore. I ain't gotta worry about none of this. I feel bad. I honestly feel horrible for those of you dudes that are really trying to put yourself out there and find a girl that's the right match for you. All I'm saying, fellas, is just be careful out there. You might be buying her dinner at night and then she's taking seven back shots a couple hours later. Just know that I'm there with you in spirit. And guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. What I also really appreciate is my channel member, the best channel members on the entire platform 
form of YouTube. We have Poopy Butthole, Jenna Tolls, Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you. You really do mean the world to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. Um, But more importantly, fellas, there's something that is very important you take away from today's video, and that's the fact that if you're not subscribed to the channel, you best be leaving a like on the video for the hot moms out there, okay? It's the least you could do. Do me a favor, stay away from chicks with six toes, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I think we have a great video to react to today. I'm sure most of you have seen some of my recent videos of women getting rejected by men. It's been doing great here on the channel. I want to thank everyone for their support. Now, we've seen a lot of women getting ego checked in those videos, but we've never seen anything quite like this, all right? You might actually have to call a wambulance for her. Anyways, just to give you guys a little bit of context here, this woman is going to be ranking everyone based on their intelligence in the room, and as you can imagine, things don't exactly go her way. One, immigrant parents, first generation going to college, humble, modest. Hmm, interesting. So she chose the Asian man to be the smartest person in the room. It's almost as if there's like, oh, no bias there whatsoever, right? My favorite part about this was that she danced around that entire scenario right there. You know, she put on this whole front of, oh, your parents were immigrants. You must be so smart. Like, come on, just say it. He's Asian. To me, I don't know, PhD, <laughs> cancer biology <laughs> scientist. Oh, I work girl. in a biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Oh. All right. So she claims to be the second smartest person in this room right now. And, you know, we'll see at the end of the video if she really is. Um, but I just gotta say, just for the record, the way she was popping her hips and talking all big about herself, like, oh, I make testing kits, look at me. She really thinks she's something, bro. Like, she really got a big fucking ego, and it's about to get checked. And then six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because the way he carries himself. He was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in other people's point of views. And number five is Sean and number six is Maria. Well, well, well. How unfortunate is that, dude? Do you guys remember when she was talking herself up? Oh, I work for this biotech company. I make like testing kits and shit. Guess what? No one fucking cares. Your IQ came in last and it's not even like a, well, I was close to, no, you were not close at all. Like she really thought that she was something special, man. She thought she was God's gift to earth and well, here she is. Where's that energy? Where'd it go? Now I will give credit when credit, you know, you did get number one, right? So I I guess it's not a total loss. I mean, that still doesn't change the fact that she looks like a damn fool. I mean, she honestly did this man so fucking dirty, saying that he is dumb as a damn rock. Now look at him. Coming back to intelligence, it's not just your IQ, it's your EQ, it's your common sense, it's street smarts. Sure, it is some type of metric, similar to an SAT and ACT score is a metric for getting into college, but there's more to that person than that test. You know, I want to say that I'm surprised, but I'm also not surprised at the same time. Here she is making excuses. Oh, IQ, it's not everything. You know, it's about street smart and all this other bullshit no one cares about, bro. If she was number one in line, she had the highest IQ from that test the end of this video would look completely different she'd be sitting here telling us how smart she is and how she studied at some bogus ass school that no one cares about listen fellas sometimes you just got to take the l in life you got to take a step back and realize you know man i messed up i made a mistake she can't even fucking do that man here she is making excuses as to why she's not number two in the room Honestly, there is nothing that makes me happier than seeing a woman like this be humbled. And I gotta say, I don't even like Jubilee. I think their videos are not that great. You know, they're kind of entertaining, but at the same time, like, they're kind of not. Anyways, this woman got fucking dunked on, dude. And it just, it honestly made my day. Nothing could have been any better.
I mean, honestly, I've never been in this situation before, but I can't imagine it feels too great, you know? Like, essentially, she said everyone in this room is stupider than me, and um, she turned out to be the biggest fucking idiot. Now she looks like a goddamn fool. And honestly, she deserves every bit of disrespect coming her way right now because, let's be real, she can't even admit, you know what, man, I fucked up. She can't even say that. Instead, she played her Uno reverse card. She tried to say, you know, there's so much more that goes into being smart than just your IQ, which I do agree with, but she didn't state that before she found out the results. You know what I'm saying? You know what would make things even better is if this woman was in one of those Jubilee videos where they rank each other on attractiveness. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I think you'd be at the bottom of that video too. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have Mr. Poopy Butthole himself, Jenna Tolls, Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. Uh, but more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. state that while you were out of the country serving in the military, your wife paraded around town with other men. And she has admitted to cheating multiple times. You claim you are not sure if you are the father of her third child, 18-month-old Liliana, and have asked the court for a paternity test. Yes, ma'am. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, as usual. So, I'm not gonna lie, I am fired up, man. This video today, it's already got me going. Anyways, to give you guys a little bit of context, we have an American soldier who was over in Afghanistan serving his country at the time. Meanwhile, back at home, his wife started climbing some poles, if you get what I'm saying, and uh, sleeping with other dudes. And um, I told her, look, if you're gonna strip after me and you... I've already gone through the discussion that you're not to do it until I get back and we might even, we won't, we'll talk about it then. She says... There was reasons why I needed to. Yeah, see, she says she, need, we, she needed the funds to support her family. Overseas, yeah, we I was do. making no. four to $5,000 tax-free we... a month. Wow. Living in a four, in a $400 room. <laughs> it wasn't rent, even a, that much. Room. Okay, Your Honor, there are expenses when you have kids. Um, the money that was coming in, let's just be real, it wasn't enough. Real, it wasn't enough. So I'm not really like a financial expert or anything, but I think I speak for most people when I say if I was getting gifted $5,000 a month, I could probably find a way to live comfortably. Now this woman is trying to claim that she just didn't have the money to pay her bills and that's fine, but why did you turn to stripping first? Like you are in a relationship at the end of the day. Nowhere did I ever hear the words, I'm going to go out and get a job. And as I was looking through it, there was a number that she'd called like 13 times. So I called him right back, mm -hmm. and he answers the phone, hey, you know, I said, who is this? Are you the one that's been my wife? He said, yes, yes, I've been. Oh. And, and now her defense, she starts laughing, saying, ha, I knew he was just going to say that. He's just saying that to, to make you mad. And it was ridiculous. I mean, you know, like throughout the night, I guess she had, she had not gone over there for three or four days or so. Mm -hmm. And um, he texts her and says, you know, I guess I, I figured now who you picked. And so she starts crying. And I said, Excuse why are you me, crying? We were and she's like, she's like, well, that one, he was my boyfriend. This is tough to watch, man. I honestly feel horrible for this guy. I mean, what else am I supposed to say other than I hope the next time his wife takes a shit and she starts wiping her ass, I hope her fingers go straight through the toilet paper or something, you know? And also, I really hope that this guy does not try to save his marriage. This woman is not wife material, bro. She cannot keep just one penis in her mouth at a time. She's clearly the type of woman that feeds off of attention. She's always going to be needing Instagram likes and people up her fucking ass constantly, you know, both physically and emotionally, I guess. Dude, listen, these women, they're just not worth it. No matter what you do. This guy was sending her five thousand fucking dollars a month and that was just not good enough and it's one thing if the woman is like stupid fucking hot right like clearly she's one of a kind this woman here though she's definitely one of a kind all right but she looking like the crimson chin i don't think she necessarily has the uh, assets to back up the ego are you too interested and in trying to see if you could save this marriage yes your honor 
She answered very she, affirmatively, she, uh, quickly. Uh, How about you, Mr. Threlkel? I would Are you say interested? Yes. I would say yes. Oh my God, dude, why? Why, man? Why would you take her back? This doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. All right, now we're on the topic of whether this baby is his or not. If I have to question that at all, then there's no reason to be in the relationship at that point forward. Obviously, you do what's best for the kid. That is, if it's yours. But, dude, this is just not worth it, in my opinion. We've all heard the phrase, trying to turn a hooker into a housewife. That's quite literally what this man is trying to do. And, I mean, I've never done it personally, uh, but they say it doesn't usually work out in your favor. Mr. Threkel, you are Liliana's father. No other person would have stayed. Likewise. What does that tell you both? Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I'm gonna say is that man on your screen right now is probably a better person than I am because there's not a chance in hell, not even for a split second, am I going back to a woman that has cheated on me. Now I understand he probably does have some strong feelings for this woman after all. They've been together for quite some time and also he's getting back together for the sake of his children. Like don't get me wrong, I can respect that but I'm just saying from my point of view it's not worth it. This woman is clearly just not meant to be in a stable relationship. Maybe this guy thinks he can fix his wife and get everything back on track in his life and well, good luck to you. But I still hope your wife fucking breaks that toilet paper and gets some doo-doo on her hands. And with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I wanna give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members on the face of this goddamn planet. We have Savarstis, Poop Poopy Butt Poo, genitals factionator zingies and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support it really does mean everything to me if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later